You own it. You've seen it at work. You rely on it. And you've used it today. So when it goes wrong, the outcome can be catastrophic. Lithium ion batteries. The ion batteries are the most popular choice for many devices because they can store a huge amount of energy in a very small space. And now the demand for Leon power tools is increasing on construction sites because they're encouraging the use of greener and cleaner tools and some sites have even banned trading cables completely. This commonly used Leon cell stores up to 43 kilojoules of energy. A battery is made up of many cells like this one. A Makita tool battery contains 10 cells storing 430 kilojoules of energy. This DeWalt FlexVolt battery stores 1,290 kilojoules of energy. The latest Tesla batteries store over 355,000 kilojoules of energy. As you can see, Leon batteries can hold a dangerous amount of energy. When they fail, this energy is released producing an explosion, fire and poisonous gases. A Leon battery fire is also very difficult to extinguish. What's the future for Li-Ion batteries? The demand for Li-Ion batteries is increasing fast, with forecasts showing the global market increasing from 36.7 billion in 2019 to 129.3 billion by 2027. At that scale, even a tiny percentage of failures will cause a huge impact and fires will become much more common. It's already a huge problem with the London Fire Brigade stating that Li-Ion battery fires are the fastest growing fire risk. To understand why Li-Ion batteries catch fire, we need to understand how they work. A battery contains lots of individual Li-Ion cells and a battery management system, also known as a BMS. Each cell is made of lithium and graphite, separated by a plastic membrane. This allows energy to pass through, but prevents direct contact between lithium and graphite, as this will cause a battery to fail and short circuit. Using a battery depletes the stored energy in the cells and charging the battery restores this energy. The BMS regulates the energy that flows to and from each cell, preventing overcharge or overdischarge. So why do Li-Ion batteries fail? The main causes are physical damage, a failed BMS and temperature extremes, which can all damage the plastic membrane between the lithium and the graphite. When the cell membrane is damaged, the lithium and graphite will come into direct contact with each other which causes a violent chemical reaction. This reaction produces a massive amount of heat and can reach temperatures of over 1,200 degrees Celsius in an event known as thermal runaway. Toxic and flammable gases are also produced in the reaction and are likely to ignite and explode. The intense heat can damage nearby cells or batteries, causing a chain reaction called thermal propagation. This causes the nearby cells to fail and go into thermal runaway too. Usually, it's impossible to tell if a cell is damaged, meaning a battery can enter thermal runaway any time, from minutes to weeks after being damaged. The fire triangle shows us that a fire needs heat, oxygen and fuel. By removing any of these, the fire will go out. However, when a Li-Ion cell fails, the reaction continually produces heat, oxygen and flammable gases, providing all the ingredients to make a fire. To overcome the emergency and prevent further damage, we need to put the fire out and also prevent thermal propagation to the other cells. The flames can be put out normally, but the ongoing reaction can reignite the fire. We also need to cool nearby cells to below 60 degrees Celsius, otherwise they can enter thermal runaway too, starting a new fire. Statistics show that batteries usually fail when charging, but how can you reduce the risks on your site and ensure that batteries are charged safely? Introducing the Vault Hub.